Hello and welcome back to my working drawing series. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about furnished plan in Revit. Now, in the previous episode, we talked about dimension floor plans in Revit. So, we're just going to dive right into furnished floor plans in Revit. So, for us to do that, all we need to do is to come under our level 2, which we are in, which is our grand floor plan. So, this is a sample of the dimension floor plan. If you haven't watched the video, please do well to watch the previous video. Now, for us to do the furnished floor plan, all we need to do is to duplicate this view. Now, we come under here, we click on right click on our keyboard, and we see duplicate view. We duplicate with detailing. Now, once we duplicate with detailing, we can rename this. Let's rename this furnished FUR full stop capital letters FUR full stop furnished floor plan round floor plan round floor plan. Now, once we are done renaming it, this is our furnished ground floor plan. So we need to delete all the internal dimensions because we really don't need them. So we click on this, we right click, we come under select all instances visible in view. Then we can uncheck some dimensions that we would like to leave. Let's uncheck the grids and the total dimension because we would like to leave those. The grids and the total dimensions. You hold your shift and you select to uncheck. You hold your shift and you select to uncheck so we uncheck these two then we delete every other dimension in the project now this is good now the next thing we are going to be doing is to tag our windows and our doors now there's an easy way to do that all we need to do is to come under annotate now you can see tag by category once you click on this you tag it manually that's one by one one by one but once you click on tag all and you select door and windows go down to windows see windows once you select windows if you have more than one window tag you can do that if you don't have more than one window tag you can leave this at the default then later you can edit them so once we have selected doors and windows we click on ok and you'll see it has automatically tagged our doors and windows for us now we need to make some edits because this is not how i want my window tags to be looking so once you click on this you click on edit family right here it opens the layer for you you select the text let's edit the text let's make this 1.5 and let's change this to elegant locks e l okay and let's make the let's make it bold and let's change the color to red okay okay and then this line we don't want this line we want our we want it to be circle so we click on create lines click on create line then modify click on circle and you extend it now so let's make this 1.5 okay then you click on tab to select this whole square or diagonal line or like whatever i call it then you click on delete you delete it now this is what we have left this is our circle for our window tag so once you click on load into project override the existing version you will see all our window tags will automatically change to circle now this is something interesting now you can see some of the window tags are inside so we just need to make very few adjustments to place them properly so that we don't have any um, mix up so you select these two let's bring them down a little bit i think that is fine we drag this one to this point as well just make sure you, you adjust everything very well so that they don't get too spaced out or too clustered just want to tag the elements you 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 are you are looking at so that people don't get confused so click this to this point and you bring this to this point so we know it is for this window okay then this one we bring this one to this point okay um, what else what other window do we have okay see this one here we bring this one to this point as well okay uh this now because of the duct we are going to tag this one inside okay all right i think that should be all for our window tags yes i think that's all then we need to now give them the proper tags that they deserve so let's say this window for instance the kitchen window or let's start with this bedroom let's say this one we, we name this window one it will automatically change all of that particular window to window one 
yes you can see this immediately changed to window one where other place do we have you can see window one window one it has automatically changed it now let's say this is window two window two anywhere we have this window in this project is automatically changes to window two that's good then the next one this should be window three okay this should be window three and let's say this window four window four okay all right so i think we have successfully changed all the windows on our project to we have given them the right tag now we can see that our text is kind of coming out of this circle so we just need to increase this circle a little bit let's make this two all right i think this will be okay look back into the project and you override the existing version now you can see it fits perfectly into the circle so this is good now we are all we are done with our window tags now you come to our door tags now you can see this if you click on this door you can see this is a 900 mm by 21 door and you can see this door right here is also a 900 mm by 21 but they are supposed to be having the same number because we are tagging them we obviously want to tag this one and it automatically changes for all the other doors 900 mm door but you see they are having two different numbers so that's easy so we are going to edit our door tags now so you click on the door tag and you click on edit now this is our door tag so we do the same thing the same size we edit the text let's make this 1.5 okay let's make this elegant box okay let's make it bold and let's change the color to red as well okay then you click on okay good now this we don't want this we select the tab button to select the chain of line then you delete it you click on create you create new line you click on circle and then you place the drawing the circle at this point now remember we made the circle for the window tags too so we also do the same thing for the door tags too all right now the difference between the door tags and the window tag is because if you click on this door tag now you can see what label we have you can edit it now you can see this is mark but we need to change it to type mark so that if we change a particular door um, tag it will automatically change all other doors with the same dimensions it will automatically change their tags as well so once we, we, we need to import um, type mark so double click on type mark you will see it will appear here once you click on this type mark sorry once you click on this type mark and you click on this remove you can see it will remove it if you click on this and you click on add it will add you can do the same thing we don't need this one we have to remove this one okay good we want it to be only type mark so once we are done with the type mark we click on ok good and this is it then we load it into the project working drawing series okay okay good now you can see the two doors have the same name now so we can come to our first door let's name this door one okay yes then this second door let's name this door two which is the 900 mm door okay now you can see to change all other doors you can see door two door two which is good now then our toilet door which is door three let's name this door three okay this is good all right then what other door do we have we can have our sliding door door four which is already door four good then you just check make sure you don't have any doors that are left out so once you are done tagging your windows and your doors now the next thing to tag is our cutting wall now you can see this cutting wall is here we also have this cutting wall here we also have this one here and you can see some other small small cutting walls at this point so we also need to tag our cutting walls now cutting walls is kind of tricky because they are walls so once you click on annotate tag all and you click on wall wall tags you see it's also tag <laughs> all other walls now you can see you have this wall you have that wall you have this 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 so it make your whole work messy so what i usually do to tag my cutting wall is i rename them so let's say this and this are the same thing now i want to name i'm going to click on edit and duplicate let's name this cutting wall one cw1 okay 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 good 
now we name this cw1 then the same thing here and here we click on this we edit we name this cw2 cw2 okay okay we name this cw2 okay then this one is the same thing because if you come to our 3d you can see it is linked uh -huh. it is linked all the way up so this is just one cutting wall and you can see the previous ones we tagged you can see them there so this is just one cutting wall so we just name this cw3 this we edit we duplicate we name it cw3 okay okay all right okay so once we are done renaming them then we tag manually because cutting walls are not much so just tag manually now you can see we have this cw2 but we don't want our leader line to be there so we are going to uncheck leader line then we just tag it manually now you can see cw2 you can see the same thing cw2 then this one okay now there is a slight issue but we are going to solve that this this okay and this and this because they are the same thing okay this is the same thing so you can just you can just copy this to this point all right good now so we are going to do some edits on this cutting wall tag so once you click on this cutting wall you click on edit family now we also need to do the same thing we click on this we change it we edit let's say we make this elegant locks el okay let's make this 1.5 like the others then we change the color to red okay and make it bold all right so once we are done we select this and we delete this then we make sure we make a good circle all around it so let's make this two let's make this two like the others okay then our text should fit well now because of uh the cutting walls are the same so it's going to tag all of them the same but in this situation we want our cutting walls to be tagged differently so we are going to change this label we don't want it to be type mark anymore so we're going to be removing this type mark remove it and we are going to add tag by name type name because you know we renamed each cutting wall to, uh, by we gave each cutting wall a name that we want to use to identify them so we're going to be using type name for this so once you import type name then we click on ok good so this is what we have and we load into our project working drawing series ok provide existing version good now you can see this has cw1 cutting wall 1 this has cutting wall 2 cutting wall 2 and this cutting wall 3 and 3 so that is how you tag cutting walls and it makes things very easy for you so this is how to tag cutting walls uh we're done with our cutting walls um, door and window tag for our um, furniture plan then the next thing we need to do this is a furniture plan so we need to show our furniture because there are no furniture in this in this project so we need to show that okay this is actually a furniture plan by showing the furniture so i think i hid most of the furniture when i was doing the um, dimension plan so we are going to unhide all the furniture this time around so we click on this we right click override sorry unhide in view by element we do the same thing here on hide in view i think we do the same thing for this on hide element this the same thing on hide element on hide element so let's just select everything we want to unhide okay then on hide element so once we are done okay we still have more click on this 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 and this this and this what else are we on hiding i think that should be all and we right click on hide element I think we should just also unhide these two cars here. Unhide. Okay, these ones are category. We need to unhide by category. So unhide by category. All the cars in the project uh, is going to be unhidden. Okay, so then we select this one and hide in view by element. Okay, good. So this is good. So I think this is okay. 
So we bring this down a little bit to this point. Then let's select our dimensions and let's bring them out very well to this point. Okay. Bring this down. Okay. Bring this down. Okay. So I think this is good. Now that we have uh, our furnitures uh, or uh, no more hidden. Okay. Now we can half tone them. So we click on this. We click on this, 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 this. Or oh, let's just half tone by category. Once you click on this, you right click, override graphics in view by category, and you click on half tone. Every good, every furniture. Now you can see this is half tone, half tone. Every furniture uh, will be half tone. Do the same thing for this bed. Override gra graphics in view by category, and you half tone. You click on OK, and you see everything would be half toned. Okay, so I think that is all. Okay, we also need to half tone the car. Right click, override by category, half tone. Okay, good. Okay, so now that is how you half tone all your elements, all your components. I think this is all. So this is all you need for your furniture plan. You have your window tags because you could have added this window and door tags and um, cutting wall tags to your architectural plan but it's going to make it look a little bit um, congested but in designs you need to actually give your design space so that they can be read properly and not have any mistakes when reading them so i think it's best we just split them out and give uh, our furniture tags um, to to the furniture uh, our window tags door tags cutting wall tags to the furniture um, layout i think this is best okay so now once we are done with this all we need to do is just to delete and um, cancel all these uh door tags that we open to edit so we just cancel all this so we don't get confused then we come to our sheets we need to place this on sheets we open our sheets now you can see we have an empty sheet then we can just click on this drag it to this point and place it right in the sheet now we can select this and you click on no title because we have our default titles that come with our sheets so we need to place this perfectly so it fits very well okay okay i think this is good all right this is this is perfect okay now let's let's extend this a little bit let's extend this a little bit to this point for this dimension to sit properly then we extend this as well to this point and also extend this to this point okay now this is all you need to know furniture plan okay we also need to place our room tag our room schedule we need to place our room schedule on sheet so this is it click on this remove sorry remove zoom in and move this from here to this point okay so this is how to create furniture um, floor plan in Revit if this video was in any way helpful or you find this video interesting please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel share this video and please turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any interesting video when next we publish see you guys on our next video bye